welcome to our last um, training for me and we'll be considering the foundation design part foundation to be specific part foundation after you you've gotten your column load the load that is being transferred to your footing how do you have design for that how do we design for our, our foundation the principle of of the foundation design is your soil bearing capacity and the service load of your building the load that is coming from your column will work with the service load to determine the size of our footing two things to, to, to consider while doing your foundation design your soil bearing ratio your surface load from your columns from your columns so the, the, the type of soil bearing capacity that you have will determine the type of footing you place on it if the soil is very good very good you can use hard footing but if it's not too so good then you start considering rough but if it's not good at all or you'll be going very very high 10 floors 5 floors 20 floors whatever floor once your floor is getting to um, let's say 5, 10, 15, 10, 15 you start considering high and high foundation but in Abuja here and in some parts of the country we have very good soil so we'll be considering hard footing for today and um, the software majorly for a quick one, what I use is still the Excel um, reinforced concrete uh, sheets. Still the reinforced concrete sheets. So, typically, this is how we use FCU, we say 20 F1, we say 14, the, the aggregate size, <coughs> we say 20, concrete cover, we say 50, the soy. Um, so um, specific weight we, we are considering 18 so, but it, it varies depending on your soil test but the test we've done earlier shows that we can use 18 as our specific our specific um, soil weight so from what you we do with this is the size of our color which we will put here then right here the unfactored dead and unfactored life loads unfactored dead and unfactored life loads will be put here will be put here so we've done that and there's one beautiful thing about this program if you done that it will give you a suggestion of the size of your footing the size of your footing so right now it's giving us 130 1305 square so the most time we can just say make it a round figure we can make it a round figure of one four zero zero by one four zero zero and that is it once you've done that it does for the checks for the checks for the, the bearing the ground bearing pressure it does not exceed the bending checks for everything share punching and everything we've done 
So if you look here, man, this is it, and this is our thickness of our fuel. So we can choose to reduce it. Our punching is okay. Share is okay. Uh, the other pressure is okay. And the statue says the design is valid. Valid design. So. So on getting to um, this, if you look here, the software says AS required. This is your AS required. AS required. And it provides for this, which to me is a bit on the high side. But what you can do, a, a rule of thumb, would be 2 multiplied by your, the thickness of your footing. If you say 2 multiplied by this, 2 multiplied by this, we we'll have 700 millimeters square. That will be the required the required area of our steel required area of our steel so we can that's the required area of our steel so we can always we can always go back and check now we are considering y12 y12 and we said 700 so 700 is between between 754 and 60, so we will now consider y12 at 150. With that, you have your design without your design for it. So, if we consider what the system that is why I said the principle of this is um, the purpose of this training is to understand fundamentals now this the computer gave us this but based on the fundamentals of the training what we should know that whatever system gives to you can query what your computer gives to you and you bring that the best so if we are following what the system is giving to us we will go for 120 112 we don't have even in our white 12 we now have to come to Y16 and we say because 1200 and then we do this. So we now say Y16 at 150. That is what the, the system suggested for this on understanding the basic principle in the safe course. Our design will be very economical by using if you now use y12 at 150 instead of falling blind in what our system suggested by making provision for y y16 at 150 so with this knowledge i would say we've come to the end of um, our training today so i really appreciate every one of you for your time for for following us leave a comment follow us back and whatever is the question just ask them we will answer it for you so once again we say thank you very much for your time bye